Good afternoon. We're back. Another cook, another meatloaf. Uh, we're going to do it today on the Oklahoma Joe's Highland. Uh, real simple, the way I put this together was uh, two pounds of ground beef, one pound of ground pork, uh, about a tablespoon and a half of this stuff, this grill made brown sugar bourbon, uh, about a half a bag of uh, real bacon bits, like they're like the real like imitation, it's not imitated, it's like real bacon chunks, uh, about a tablespoon, probably about half a cup of barbecue sauce. Uh, I did go ahead and probably use about uh, this too. I just kind of liberally put it on there once I was mixing it up. Uh, one egg, one and a half packs of Ritz crackers, uh, half an onion and a half a green pepper, and then put it all together and yeah, she's about ready to go on. So uh, besides that, uh, I will pick back up once I'm done at the smoker. I don't know if I mentioned it, I kind of can't remember, but I'm gonna be cooking on uh, OK Joe's. So see you in a little bit. Okay, we're back. Uh, right away, I apologize if it's kind of windy. It's about 40 degrees and raining and about 30 mile an hour winds today. So I'll just show you what I got going quick. So you got a water pan in there. I do have the baffle plates installed. Uh, I used them on the last cook I did last night. They worked really good. I think I just, I figured out what I've been doing wrong. I just, I've been trying to bring it up slowly and I found out that I think if you overshoot it, like you want to have a hot fire most of the time. So if you overshoot it, it's really easy to get it back down. So ever since I started doing that, it's been fine. So uh, I'm going to cook this in between, I forgot what I said before, but I'm going to do it in between 225 and 250 the whole cook. So I'll probably show you a couple times to get the dress. So we'll see in a little bit. All right, we are back. We are one hour in. Uh, real, really hasn't been that bad today maintaining the temps. That'll have been a bit more difficult with as cold, as windy as it is. But I'll uh, give you a quick look at the loaf. Internal on the loaf right now is at about 130. There she is. Looks like a loaf to me. So we're going to keep on cooking on here. And uh, I'll probably give you a look in about an hour or so. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we are about two hours into the cook. Uh, really easy today, maintaining that temp right around 225 and between, actually in between 225 and 250. Uh, what I had to do though, was I'm actually having to keep that door open kind of day like that. I think the, the wind and the cold, uh, it's making it a bit hard to get it where I want it. But if I leave it cracked like that, it, it holds right where I want it. So we'll take a quick peek at the loaf. Said it's been two hours. Oh yeah. Starting to look meaty. Uh, but I'm gonna let this hit. Internal on right now is about 151. Uh, once it hits like 158, I'm gonna take some barbecue sauce and pour it on top of it. So I'll show you, pick it up when I do that. Okay, we are back. Uh, internal is right at about 160. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sauce the loaf. I personally like doing it. I don't, I know a lot of people use ketchup. I like to use barbecue sauce. Uh, today we're gonna use this uh, Old West uh, BBQ dipping sauce. And uh, what we're gonna do. Just pour it right on like that. Yeah, there should be. Take my basting brush here. Make sure I get the back end of it. And yeah, I probably will not pick back up again until I'm up in the kitchen ready to eat. So we'll see you then. Okay, we are back. And uh, oh wait, what do we got here? We got a little. We got some bacon wrapped tots going with that meatloaf. Uh, in total, about two and a half hours. You can, indeed, look at that nice, nice looking smoke ring on there. But, uh, like I said, two and a half hours, I already, show, I already told you how I made it, put it together. Like, me and meatloaf, like, it, I think I do it different every time, so. I got nothing else. Uh, maintain the temp at 225 to 250 the whole time, and like I said, it was right at about two and a half hours until it reached the internal 165. So, I am going to go ahead and uh, eat my dinner. You guys have a good night, and uh, we'll see you later.